Hello everyone. Today we are going to talking about the effects of Senegal's climate issues on the design based on Köpengayli climate classification system. Uh, first of all, our main goal is to study and examine the climate crisis in Senegal in the context of the Köpengayli climate classification system by exemplifying it through the, some selected examples uh, which are some cities in Senegal and we choose some cities which is two cities from the Senegal and they have the they both have the B climate type according to the Köpengayli cl climate classification system and uh, we are going to compare these two city and search for the architectural techniques and studies and materials which we're using in this city and the relationship between these techniques and the climate issues and how can we find the new solutions to solve these all issues and this is the main uh, purpose of this presentation. Uh, it's like a pre-research about the Senegal's climate issues and the climate types. The titles you see here are the topics we will talk about in our presentation. And this is our context. Like I said, we are first going to start with the introduction part. And in here, we will talk about uh, the Köpengayer climate classification system. And then we have a primary school design uh, competition in Senegal. We will talk about it a little bit. And then uh, the Senegal's climate in general and the issues of it and uh, the types according to the Köpengayer climate classification system. And then we will we have chosen two cities which are the Dakar, city of Dakar and the city of St. Louis. And we will uh, explain this city in order with the climate issues and the climate types. Uh, first, uh, we are starting with the Köpengayer climate classification system. This is the first basis of the subject and uh, which is prepared for the art solar decathlon course uh, it's first we for to explain and understand the Köpengayer climate classification and to realize the effect of it on the climate and on architecture and uh, like i said before uh, we choose the b dry uh, climate type from the Köpengayer climate classification scheme uh, in the right hand side, you can see the scheme. And in the light of these informations, we plan to attend an architectural design competition, which is the Cairo Laura design competition. And it is open to the all architectural students and young architects from all around the world. In the competition, the perspective is to improve the living conditions in Senegal uh, with the design st uh, strategies which are suitable for Senegal and its climates and its environment and our uh, main point in this presentation is to make a pre-research for this competition. Senegal is a West African country. It borders the Senegal River and the Atlantic Ocean. Senegal is divided into three divisions into the Köpengayi classification. The upper part, that is the driest and hottest part, has the climate type of BWH. The middle part, named the arid and steppe part, has the climate type BSH. And the lower part, the tropical areas, has the AW climate type. Here, I will explain the Köpengayi climate classification system. It is divided into four classes. These are A, tropical, B, dry, C, temperate, D, continental, and E, polar. Then the types are differentiated according to their vegetation. Finally, it is classified according to general temperature level. As you can see in the table, the climate types of Senegal are shown with arrows. Now I will explain the climate types of Senegal. The AW climate is defined as a tropical, wet and dry climate. It can also be called a savanna climate. In, country with, in countries with this climate, drought conditions continue through the year. Generally, there are wooded grasslands due to drought. The vegetation is long grasslands called savanna. BSH climate type It's defined as semi-arid climate or semi-desert climate or steppe climate. Summers are hot, winters are warm and cold. 
The amount of precipitation, on the other hand, is some or minimum through the year. It's not common on the edges of subtropical beaches. Only it's found in Africa, Australia and South Asia. The climate type PSW is called desert climate or arid climate. High heat dominates the summer months. In the tropics, constantly high temperatures occur all year around. In winter, temperature can drop below freezing at night. In this part of the presentation, we are going to examine the climate change and its effects on Senegal with some maps. And in, in the first map, we can see how striking is climate crisis going to affect the Senegal. Uh, in the left, we can see a map which is the map of Senegal uh, from 1980 to 2016. And in the right, we can see a map uh, which is for future. Uh, it's, it's a guess, it's a prediction about the year 2071 and 2100. And you can see how striking and how uh, different these two maps are. In here, we can see the maximum temperature change in Senegal uh, in uh, 2035 and 2050. And uh, for this prediction, uh, they said that uh, until the mid-century, the expected increase on the average temperature is going to be between 1.5 degrees uh, and 4 degrees Celsius and uh, like you can see in the left this is the prediction for the year 2035 and in the right this is the map for the prediction of 2050 and uh, here again an, another prediction it's about the rising seas and, and you know that rising sea level is one of the most significant effects of the climate change in Senegal and both in Africa and in other part of the uh, world, world too. And in this maps, in the first one, it shows the baseline, which is 2018. And in the A, we can see the prediction for the 2050. And in the right, in the B, B map, we can see the prediction for the 2100. Uh, and we can see how it's going to be changed. Uh, the red dots are getting bigger and bigger, and it, which means that the 55% uh, rising sea level. Now I'm going to give you some information about Dakar architecture based on Köpengaya climate classification. Dakar is the capital of Senegal and one of the most populated cities in Africa. It has a coast on the Atlantic Ocean. It is the political, economic, commercial, cultural and religious center of Senegal. Here you are seeing the graphics of Dakar average temperature and the precipitation amount through the year. When we look in the first graphic, we can say that the hottest month of the year is October and the coldest month of the year is February. When we look in the second picture, second graphic, we can say that the amount of the precipitation is the highest on August and there is no precipitation on February to June. Dakar has a BSH climate type according to Köpengaya climate classification. This means it has a arid, semi arid, semi desert climate. There is a little rainfall through the year. The annual average temperature is 24 degrees. In this slide, I will explain the effects of climate change in Senegal to Dakar and the architectural measures taken accordingly. Senegalese architects wants to review all techniques and replace concrete with soil in line with climate change and conditions. This is because uh, concrete is a very cheap material. However, Dakar is not very suitable in terms of heat. And the cement production is an important source of carbon dioxide emissions. Soil is a material that is naturally regulates heat and humidity. This is why the traditional architecture of Senegal is made of mud. Very little energy is re re required to produce earth bricks and adobe. Here, we are seeing some architectural project examples of the old techniques and projects that are done with old techniques and materials. First one is a historical hotel called Kolof Hotel. We can, um, we can see that it's made of adobe. 
Second project is a newly done project called Daimino's Earth Type of Eco Pavilion. It is done by the Earth Brick and with the old techniques. Now Eda is going to talk about St. Louis architecture based on Köpengay climate classification. And in this part of the presentation, we are going to examine the St. Louis's climate based on the Köpengayer climate classification systems. And first, uh, I will start with the city of the St. Louis. Uh, the city of St. Louis is located on northern Senegal, which is near to the Senegal River, and uh, it's 320 kilometers to the capital city of Senegal, which is the city of Dakar. And uh, this city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the climate type is BWH Arid Desert Desert Hot uh, Climate based on the Kepengaya Climate Classification System. Uh, and uh, like you can see in the figures, the city was a French con colonial city which was known for its charming colorful buildings and it's perched at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean and at the foot of the Sahara Desert. So it was actually known as the Venice, known as the Venice of Africa, and the city was the former capital city before the Dakar. But this all changed with the climate issue in Senegal because all of this level sea level rises affected this city so hard. And in order to understand uh, how the climate issues affected the city, we should first look at the climate features of the city. And in the right, uh, there is the average temperature, and then in the left, there is the precipitation amount through a year in uh, millimeters. And the lowest precipitation is in March, it's zero millimeters. And the highest, it, it's in August, and it's uh, 59 millimeters. And the average temperature now, it's the highest uh, in as uh, 28.5 degrees and the lowest is in February. And uh, these maps are for showing the sea level rises in city of St. Louis. Uh, the city of St. Louis is one of the, and uh, actually the most affected city uh, from the sea level high. Uh, and uh, it, this is causing major problems every day. And it's threatening more and more people who live in the city and people are moving from the city. And uh, like you can see, there is the bathymeter of St. Louis in 2014 and 2019. And uh, in the right, you can see the change of cost of St. Louis between the years 2000 and 2021, which is a significant change. And we all know that now the uh, people who live in Gwetnadar uh, already moved from their villages. Architectural types which affects the St. Louis's architecture. Uh, it can be actually examined into different layers due to its history, location, and climate. The first one is the native architecture. Uh, like you can see, the materials and shapes are used directly for the cl climate and of, of that time, and roof types are. Uh, for all of these reasons and it's very primitive and they don't provide the needs and in the second part we can see the French colonial architecture Bordeaux and all of this colonial architecture brightly colored colonial buildings are not suitable for the climate change and its effects in Senegal and it's, it's obvious because of the, all of the damage in the buildings and in the light of this information we drew some systems uh, which are suitable for the city of St. Louis. First we have some more traditional renewable energy energy systems and like we all know the solar energy systems or wind energy systems or the hybrid energy systems uh, and these are very suitable for the area and they are com common. There is some other uh, solutions for the coastal management and for the fact of sea level change and which threatens the cities in uh, Senegal. Uh, it's one of them is in living shoreline method. It's a um, uh, bank stabilization, stabilization technique uh, that use plants and sand and soil to provide a shoreline protection with an habitat. And in the right, we can see some breakwaters. Uh, they are using this on uh, Dutch floating areas and this is an hard system, uh, hard coastal management system. 
in here we have another cost management solution which is the sand engines uh, it's suitable for the areas which has high winds like senegal high seas and flooding like uh, saint louis uh, it's for the building near the shoreline uh, and it's very suitable for this area too and in here we have another system which is a groins groins is a coastal management system too uh, it can be used to contain sediment and they uh, place perpendicular to the shore structures and it designed to cut the long coastal sediment like you can see in the diagram uh, it's the scheme of interaction of groins waves currents and shore and in the right hand side there is an uh, applied example in groins in Sally in Senegal uh, which is very important because we can see that this is working in the Senegal and these are our references that the articles that we used in this presentation uh, thank you for listening to us and contribute our research